Okay, express in scientific notation. If you look at this first number, scientific notation, the number at this point when there's no decimal point in it really has an understood decimal point here. This number in scientific notation would have the decimal point here. So the number written in scientific notation would be 7.92 times 10 to some exponent. Here's how you find the exponent. Count the places from where the decimal point is to where you want it for scientific notation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7.92 times 10 to the 6th. All right, if I want to write this number in scientific notation, this number here, where should the decimal point go? Right there. 4.1 times 10. Now, count from the decimal point to where I want it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Should I put a positive 5 or a negative 5 on this exponent? I hope you said negative. When your number is a very small number, the, the exponent on the 10 in scientific notation usually has a negative on it. All right? Let's do two more types of problems. What if I have this question? Express in decimal form. All right, 2.7 times 10 to the third. That means I have to make 2.7 a larger number by moving the decimal point how many places? See that three? That's how many places. So if I move three places to, I'm going to put a very tiny dot there for the decimal point and put a seven and some zeros here. All right, there's one. There's two. I need three places, so let's put another zero. And that's where the decimal point is going to be. So I'm going to make that into a comma now. 2,700 is the number. Now it's in decimal form. All right, this one. 6.18 times 10 to the negative 7. Negative 7. Am I going to make the number bigger or smaller? I hope you said smaller. So let's write the 618. That's where the decimal point is. I have to move seven places. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put the decimal point. Proper form is another zero here. There's the answer. So express in decimal form from scientific notation. All right, one other thing you're going to have to do tonight. Sometimes you're going to be asked to find a one-digit estimate of x. The problem's going to look like this. You can see you have a lot of decimal numbers multiplied by each other. First thing you want to do is put them all in scientific notation. 3.25. Hey, that looks like scientific notation, so it's really 3.25 times 10 to the 0. Next one. Scientific notation would put the decimal point there, so that one's going to be 1.212 times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, to the fourth. Okay, next one, decimal point should go there, 3.9 times 10 to the 1, 2, minus 2. Hope you know why that one's a minus. Okay. The bottom one, scientific notation puts my decimal point there, 1.86. If you want to try and count it by yourself, stop the video for a second and count it. All right. Decimal point, 1.86 times 10. How many places? 1, 2, 3. 3, is it positive or negative? Hope you knew negative. All right, negative 3. There we go. So now that my number is all in scientific notation, I'm going to round them all the parts to one digit. 3.25 rounds to 3. 1.212 rounds to 1. 3.9 rounds to 4. And then on the bottom, 1.86 rounds to 2. 
And then I'm going to take all the exponent parts from the scientific notation and group those together. So I have times 10 to the 0, times 10 to the 4th, times 10 to the negative 2, and on the bottom I have 10 to the negative 3. Hey, I could move this up and call it 10 to the 3rd. That makes for easier work. Okay, take the number part. 3 times 1 is 3, times 4 is 12, divided by 2. So 12 over 2 is 6. Um, let's put that 6 over here. So we get a 6. And then let's take all of these exponents. 0 plus 4 is 4, minus 2 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So it's 6 times 10 to the 5th. And that's the answer if you want it in scientific notation. If you want it in decimal notation, you can write it without that. Six, and how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five. So, this is the best answer for what this problem asked for. So, the homework is just like this. Good luck.